Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Let's talk about breaking covenant. Covenant is when you have a commitment to something, uh, someone, or even to God, right? And so <clears throat> you can read the covenant with God over in um, Deuteronomy 5 that Moses gave. And that covenant was given to the children of Israel. It's principles to live by that keep you in congruency with um, life in general, how to create a healthy life, how to actually um, create a life of success. And so, <clears throat> um, oftentimes people don't understand this covenant with God until after they've been in maybe covenant with a person. And so we go back to the beginning and we can look at Adam and Eve and that Adam had, you know, a um, commitment that um, God and him had made and the commitment uh, defined things that Adam would do and would not do, right? And so when you look at um, the commitment to yourself, uh, oftentimes I find coaching and even through my own life that I didn't make a commitment to myself earlier because I didn't know uh, that I needed to commit something to myself such as virginity, you know? Why do women um, keep their virginity and why are they told to or why were they told back in the days when I, were, I was growing up um, to keep your virginity? Something to talk about in another you know, discussion. However, the lack of commitment in your virtue uh, causes you to lose something that's valuable. And a lot of people aren't told about the value. Uh, men lose their virtue as well. And um, that is exercised or communicated as a great thing. But here we see that it may not be so great because we have population of um, families and children that cannot be taken care of because covenants with self and others have been broken. So getting back to the covenant with self, the covenant with self is defined um, spiritually for uh, the external living in Deuteronomy 5. Um, you can go back and read it and those words become you know, principles to live by, as I said, something that creates boundaries and uh, morals again. So what happens when you break covenant with yourself? A lot of us have experienced anxiety, depression, worry, um, and doubt, insecurities, you know, lack of security. We've experienced these things because we didn't know that a choice we were going to make would cause us to go through a situation that would be disappointing or disheartening, right? And so what do you do to get your life on track when you can recognize some of these areas? Like you can alleviate depression and even your children going into cycles of depression. And I'm not talking about just diagnosed depression, but you can alleviate it by teaching what I just said, by taking a chance on looking at spiritual principles and practices for everyday life. Um, and the reason why is it's because we generally practice um, going to get something or desiring uh, what we want or you know, going after material things. Uh, many of us have um, looked away from going within to build that temple within that, you know, Christ was telling the people um, he was, I am the temple, you know, and I am a builder. I build people is what he was actually saying. Um, yeah, I didn't build a building, I build people. So when I build people, 
I get the idea and understanding of what has broke the people down um, mentally, physically, or spiritually. And I communicate those ideas to them to help them turn their lives around. And that's what I read in the book. And that's my communication. And even with the coaches that I work with, you know, our team, this is our communication because a lot of times people don't know how to get a discipline over their emotions. They have fight or fly. And fight or fly is something that we're experiencing right now. But if you decide to make changes in just, you know, fleeing and running and being angry, what you can do is begin to sit down um, five minutes and just give five minutes to quietness and, 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 and begin to change your life in the area of emotions and um, talking and hearing voices all the time to keep you going or consulting with individuals that can't give you uh, what you need to change your life. You see what I'm saying? Because everyone's consulting and they're saying they want to change, but their consultants are not change agents. So the covenant that has been broken is with self. You know, whatever you went through in whatever type of situation, there's something that you can look at and say, okay, let me change by fixing this. You have to pay attention to um, the spiritual part of you. You can't just pay attention to the physical because your soul is requiring a higher level of life. And so um, I wanted to pinpoint breaking covenants because if I break a covenant with myself, meaning I'm doing something that I really don't believe in and I have to get to the core of understanding what I believe in concerning myself, you know what I'm saying? Because some people believe that they should be doing for people all the time, but then they're unhappy when they don't receive back. So you need to change that and get balance, right? So if you're breaking a covenant with yourself in that area and you have other people involved or you're you were in a relationship or something like that, that means that um, you have to change the way that you see your participation in a relationship, all right? So coaching packages are all on YouTube. Um, they're also on um, Instagram. And um, we have other coaches, Nyla Banks, Kamoy Knight, um, Honora Rivera, um, Ashley, uh, Townsend Daniels, and um, Jasmine Tony, um, and more. So if you need any um, assistance in the areas of depression or anxiety, we don't do therapy, but I do um, have connections with therapists. Our area is to help you um, actually unpack the emotions connected to the area, such as, did you know you were breaking a um, vow within yourself? Something that you may have within you that says, no, we cannot do this. And many people will say, well, I've never heard of that. Of course, because we don't take the time to sit down and maybe listen to our intuition. And our intuition is saying, don't go down that street and you did it and you had an accident. That's breaking covenant because I didn't listen to the voice that actually guides me. We have guides. We have angels that are um, also um, surrounding us. All right. Excuse my phone. So um, contact me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com. You can also DM me on Instagram or on Facebook. I'm at Kim Warner. All right. God bless you guys. Have a wonderful day.